Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. This is my first video of 2022. Here we are. I don't know if it's starting off the best, but we'll just go with it. So I wanted to try out this foundation for a while. I've been looking at it when I go grocery shopping and in the drugstores. I'm not sure. I feel like I saw it somewhere and that it was like viral. It was like a viral makeup piece to check out. So I picked up the CoverGirl Plus Olay Simply Ageless foundation to try out. Um, so if you guys would like to see this makeup look and my thoughts on the foundation, then just keep watching. All right, I'm really excited to try out my new phone. I got the Samsung Galaxy um, 21 Plus. I think that's what it's called. I think there was the Ultra 2, but they didn't have it. So this is one of my Christmas presents. I looked through the video and it's, um, it's a word. It looks very high def. Like you can see every flaw and every mark on my face. So, I mean, it's cooler to have something a little bit more high def, but it's very real. You're seeing very real skin. So I picked up the CoverGirl, uh, Olay Plus Simply Ageless Foundation. I've seen this. I think I saw it on TikTok or one of those and it just looked like it had something gimmicky that I wanted to try. Like instant wrinkle defying. Perfect. I feel like my wrinkles are very, very predominant right now. So that just should be good. All right. Off the bat, my first complaint about this foundation is it is extremely hard to open. You have to like unscrew it and mine was very very hard to open so I guess you have the swirl of foundation and the swirl of Olay Simply Ageless in there so let's see how these two work together. I picked up the shade 235 so I might use the little sponge that it comes with to just apply it to my face and then go in with a brush to um, blend it out. So it might be a little dark right now. I haven't really been wearing um, too much sunless tanner. I haven't been wearing any at all, to be honest. Um, and not really very much makeup at all during the holidays. I didn't wear any makeup. Uh, maybe for Christmas I did, but I might not have either. So just giving my skin a little break. So, so far the shade match actually looks really, really good. It's not too warm. Um, it's a neutral, I think, 235, but it has a name. Um, I don't see it on here. And there's also Hyaluronic Complex and SPF 28 in it as well. So I'm just gonna get it on the skin. So, um, here in Ontario, we are back to online learning. Ask me how happy I am about that. Ask my kids how happy they are about that. Also, their sports have been cancelled. So, yeah, it's a good time up over here. Not. Okay, it's actually perfect. Wow, like perfect shade match. I don't know if it's a perfect foundation, but it's a perfect shade match. It feels a little bit heavier, not in a bad way. Like it just feels like a thicker cream that you're putting on your face. It also feels like I should have blended it through quicker. It definitely feels like I should have blended it through quicker. So it sets down, it dries down quite quickly. Like it's dried down. It actually looks really good. <laughs> it just dries down really quickly. So you have to um, blend through fast, but like it, does not sit on your skin like that 
looks really good. Okay, let me just kind of use the sponge a little bit more because there's a little bit extra on here and I can kind of just blend through any edges. I don't really like the smell. I feel like it's the oil of Olay. Like I remember this smell when I was little and my mom had a certain foundation or it was an oil of Olay foundation and it smelled like this. But like the coverage is really, it's like a light medium coverage but it looks flawless. Oh my goodness. That looks really good. All right, also on my texture, like around my cheeks, it is not settling in, it is not enhancing it. So I love that. And also I need to like shave my upper lip because it just, this is very high def for me. <laughs> my other camera was like a little bit maybe blurred out some things. So I'm gonna go in with the Revolution Define, Conceal and Define Concealer. I've been liking this concealer a lot. This kind of has a similar effect. It dries down really quickly. So I'm gonna get that on and then blend it through. So we've just been doing a lot of outdoor hockey. Um, yesterday was the last game for my middle son. My youngest hasn't played in a while because we were supposed to go out of town, but that got canceled. So anything that was kind of scheduled over the holidays got canceled for them, which sucks since now everything's canceled for them. So we're trying to get to the outdoor rinks as much as we can and just finding other ways for them to stay active and stay training. Also, this camera makes my eyes look like red. I'm not as pink and red, so maybe next time I should film. Not right when I get up. <laughs> but that foundation, the, the concealer blended really nicely in with the foundation because it has a similar um, finish, I find. I thought that that would work really well. Uh, I am loving this combo. So this is like my first video of 2022 and pleasantly surprised with the foundation. Like really, really surprised with the foundation, to be honest. I like that it is not like a really dewy finish as well. Um, it's just not enhancing any kind of texture or any um, like peach fuzz on my face, which I find sometimes with the dewy foundations, like that can happen, but it's also not so matte. Like I don't have, really have normal to dry skin and it's not so matte that it's enhancing any dryness really good. It's very, very good, you guys. I don't need to powder it. I'm not going to set it with any powder or my under eye. I don't, I don't need to. Um, if the natural oils on my face start coming through, that's okay because it is more of a matte finish. All right, I'm going to go in with the e.l.f. Electric Mood Quad. Use the Cream bronzer, cream contour, just to add a little bit of color, add a little bit of dimension to the face. Yeah, so it's gonna just be pretty quiet around here. Um, stores are still open, but capacity is reduced. So it might just be a good time to just pick up more makeup that I wanna try out and just sit and film. It was really busy over the holidays. I didn't get a chance to film very much um, or watch very much YouTube. I like to I like to sit and watch in the evenings, watch my other um, YouTube friends and just support their channels. So it was a little harder during the holidays to do that. But 
feel like I'm going to have a lot of time on my hands in the next little bit. All right, the cream bronzer didn't blend through as effortlessly as I wanted it to, I think, because this foundation is a little um, more on the matte side. Um, maybe let's just try to stick with a powder or a creamier, maybe that that cream bronzer, cream, found, cream contour isn't the creamiest. So it took a little effort to blend it through. Nothing wasn't too bad, but let's try powder on top of it and see if that blends through nicely. I have a feeling that it will sit better on it. Yeah, already it just looks like a powder contour powder bronzer probably work best with this foundation. Right, for blush I'm just gonna go in with Milani Luminoso I definitely have to do a makeup clean out and just go through everything like that I've gotten over this past year and even there's probably stuff that's older um, and just weed out all the things that I haven't been using that I'm not loving anymore just so you can bring in new um, I always love to do that with my clothes every like let's say six to eight months I do a closet clean out I know that I'm not going to stop shopping and buying clothes so I just like to get rid of things that I'm not wearing that don't fit me right um that I may have bought thinking I like it but when I wear it I don't and I definitely love to give those things to other people. All right, I'm going to go really simple on the eye look. I'm pulling out my Buxom Ash K Home Palette. Uh, just going in with the shade Unfiltered. And just going to do a really simple eye look. I'm just going to put this in the crease and up on the brow bone. I definitely have to say out of all of the eyeshadows that I've tried out in the last two years, let's say, these shades just blend so nicely. Like, I'm starting to feel like, <laughs> probably more people feel like this as well. I'm probably just really late to the party, but like Urban Decay I feel like is overrated with their palettes honey palette like I like but the colors like after trying the KKW and the Buxom cosmetics like they just don't blend as nicely um and the neutral palette that I have from them like the shades are the shades are nice they just don't have that same texture to them they're not as creamy and they just don't blend as nicely so I'm just now I'm putting this all over the lid as I'm talking <laughs> just putting it all over the lid it's a nice warm shadow it kind of just cuts out any purple blue undertones in the corners of my eyes so I'm going to get this smaller brush and just go underneath my eye as well All right, so I put on some eyeliner and mascara. I lined my lips with the Ardeen's Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Taupe and Max Oak and used the Lifter Gloss from Maybelline in the shade Ice and the NYX Dainty Days lipstick, a little bit of that over top of it. I also went in with the Shake Fix and Glow Spray from Catrice just to add a little bit of um, glow to the skin you don't have to like I didn't have to but I just wanted to add a little glow to the skin I just wanted to see what the foundation would look like with a little bit of setting spray as well flawless I am so shocked at how much I like this foundation um, it's the perfect even if you're not 
wearing any other makeup but want a little bit of something on your skin, it just looks so natural. It looks so, so good. So really excited about it. I'm excited to keep using this. So here, on here it says covers lines and wrinkles instantly by floating over them and not settling into them. Yes, yes. It is doing what it says it does for sure like I feel like it can seal the wrinkles the texture on my cheeks instead of enhancing them which I get sometimes like my skin looks so good love this I need to start collecting maybe put things together aside for the end of the year and just be like favorites of 2022 because this is so, so good. I might need to get a deeper shade for when I am wearing selfless, selfless, selfless tanner, sunless tanner. Um, but other than that, I can't even, other than it being, well, it's easy to open now that I unscrewed it. But that was the worst part about this is the unscrewing and just, you have to blend it through quickly. It settles. It sets very quick so remember to do that if you go out and get this foundation all right this is the final look thank you guys so much for watching I hope you enjoyed the video and I will see you guys again soon